Yo, what is going on guys and welcome to what is a brand new series here on my channel on a game that I've recently just bought and a game that I absolutely adore and that is F1 2019. As you can tell by the title of this brand new series it is called Life of Lando and it follows a very young but special talent in this season of Formula 1 and that is Lando Norris of McLaren. But you might be asking how is this going to work basically this um, series is going to be split into two seasons the first one is going to be focusing Lando on Lando's season in 2018 in Formula 2 before his step up to Formula 1 which is going to be season 2 so where we're going to be starting today and for the next like I believe it's like 24 episodes and I'll explain why that is um, is going to be season 1 and it is going to be in the Formula, uh, Formula 2 series and we are going to be using the championship um, mode here on F1 2019 so obviously this is 2018 season so this is when the likes of George Russell Alex Albon and Lando Norris were all competing against each other and all three of them managed to make the step up this year um, into Formula 1 so season 1 is going to be the Formula 2 and then season 2 is going to be Formula 1 so it's going to follow the life of Lando Norris so because this is brand new to Formula 1 games where we can actually be in Formula 2 I will explain things as we go along so we're going to be picking Carlin for this season we're going to pick in Lando Norris the person that is going to be the main focus of this series and we are going to get started so how this series is going to work every episode there is going to be something different so in this episode we are going to be doing the qualifying for the first race and then in the second uh, next episode we are going to be doing the two races in Formula 2 it is a bit different to Formula 1 where instead of one long race it is split into two different races which we will go through in just a second so every um, alternating episode there is going to be qualifying which is just going to be highlights um, showing you guys um, how we get on and where we're going to place for the first race which is the feature race we're going to have the um, formation lap on we're going to turn feature race down to 50% and we're going to have the sprint race to 25% I think I think that's how we're going to do that actually to be fair I might actually split the each episode so um, qualifying then a feature race as an episode then the sprint race so this actually might be a longer series than anticipated but it means that you guys can find which bit you want a lot more easy so I think that's how I'm going to do that so I'm going to keep it 50% 25% we're going to have the AI driver level at 90 which is the first in master so if we go down to 89 it's expert and 90 is a brilliant challenge for me because I'm still getting used to this game it's a lot more difficult than 2018 I should say so I'm I'm still very much learning I'm only I only had this a few days now and I'm still trying to learn it hence why I haven't even started a career yet I'm just learning the game and then get better at that but anyway that is all the settings for that um, we're, we're gonna have flashbacks off which means that if I crash then the damage is there and I can't just like rewind it I'm just trying to make this as real as possible and make it as immersive as possible Vehicle damage is also on simulation, which is the most realistic, meaning that it, the cars are probably the most fragile, meaning that any bit of contact likely is going to result in some damage, And but that is down to me. I need to learn this game. I need to be safe, and I need to be quick. Um, race starts are manual, so that means I have to hold the clutch and release it at the start of races, which I'm fine with doing. Type temperatures are simulation, so as realistic as possible, so they wear. Since we don't really need to gloss over, um, weather in time we don't need to gloss over because we can't change it it's dynamic weather so there could be wet races there will be dry races there might be who knows what's going to happen and session time is official so obviously we're following the letter of the law so before I click start session and do the first qualifying session which I believe is Bahrain even though the Formula 1 season starts in Australia there's only 12 races in Formula 2 um, but obviously it's split into smaller races so it's a bit different but I'm quickly going to explain the rules or, and the, or the scoring system at least for Formula 2 so there's quite a bit of a difference um, like score wise of like how many points you get per race so l listen carefully uh, so you have know this in mind because if you're like me I didn't actually know the scoring um, system because I've never really watched Formula 2 but because it's added to the game I just think it's a brand new thing that I'd love to try turn it into a series 
And Lando Norris is a perfect example of going from Formula 2 to Formula 1. And actually, he's done very well. So, he's a brilliant rookie. Probably my favourite rookie since Lewis Hamilton came onto the scene in 2007. But anyway, onto the scoring system. So, I, I'm just going to read this off Wikipedia right now, so bear with me. So... Um, points are awarded to the top 10 classified finishers in a feature race and to the top 8 classifiers um, in a sprint race. The pole sitter in a feature race will also receive 4 points. So if I get pole for the feature race, I get 4 points. Um, and 2 points are given to the driver who sets the fastest lap uh, inside the top 10 in both the feature race and the sprint race. So that's 2 extra points on programs in both races. No extra points are awarded to the pole sitter in the sprint race, however. Um, okay. But um, one thing I should say is, wherever I finish in the feature race, which is the first out of two races, that determines my grid uh, place for the second race. So, if I come first in the feature race, that means I start eighth, because it swaps the top eight around, so it goes in reverse order. So that's something that I think in karting they um, do as well, so it's an interesting like dynamic that I need to get used to. Uh, points for the feature race, it goes 25 points, 18, 15, so on. Kind of like, form well, it is the following the same as Formula 1, but in the sprint races, however, like I said, only the top eight or get points so it goes 15 12 10 8 6 4 2 and 1 that's interesting to know one more thing before we start is i am obviously going to try and do my best and try and eclipse or do better than how lando did in formula 2 and in formula 1 this season obviously we're halfway through the formula 1 season so it's um it would be hard to know exactly how many points it's going to end up on to try and beat but i'm going to try and do as good as I can but one thing to note is Lando finished on 219 points in Formula 2. I think he was about 60... I think it's 68 points behind George Russell, who actually ended up winning the Formula 2. So, obviously, he's going to be a main rival. Alex Albon, as well, I think came third. Only 7 points with 212 points. Uh, so we came behind uh, Norris. Norris finished second in Formula 2. I would love to better that and win the F2 Championship with my boy Lando. But anyway, let's start the session and let's get into our first qualifying. So I will admit I have not been, I have not driven around Bahrain so far on this game. So this is going to be completely new. And how you're going to see um each episode so I, i've already said that it's probably best for me to so it'll be every three episodes where there'll be a qualifying every three episodes where there'll be a, a feature race and then every three um episodes where there'll be a sprint race so the these episodes are going to be the shortest with a qualifying because it's just going to be highlights of me doing my laps so hopefully you guys do enjoy that actually i might do it a bit differently to be foul i'm not worried about the commentary and stuff so we are now sat in the carlin car so how we're going to do this i'm not going to be driving out so um it says we've got half an hour there but it's going to be shorter because we're going to just go for flying laps set a lap time come back in do the same thing so that time will go down quick i think I'll, that's how i'm going to keep it but you, you guys leave comments on how you would like to see it do i like cut it up and make, turn it into highlights or do i just keep it raw footage for now i'm just going to keep it as raw footage and hopefully you guys like that so anyway i think we should Put it on increased top speed so it gives us a bit m less downforce but a bit more increased top speed as it does say there so i think we should go out and set our first lap time so let's go to track yep park fair may rolls is fine and we are going to do our first flying lap like i said i have not been around the bahrain circuit on this game so this is going to be completely new obviously they've added like brand new um graphics for Bahrain so you can actually see like the dust or the, the sand kick up from the Bahrain desert but anyway also it should add and you can see that right now I play with no hood and I also play in cockpit view so it is the most realistic so any bit of like information that I have is on my steering wheel or I can obviously talk to my mechanic so that is something to bear in mind so we have the uh, DRS open I do know obviously this circuit very well but not on this game so I'm going to have to break nice and early for this hairpin. Oh I still missed the apex by quite a bit but this is first lap, this is my sight lap. We are not going to have any practice sessions in this series so I'm going to go off pure instinct alone. So it looks like George Russell has set a benchmark for um, 
myself to beat. I'm gonna take that nice and slow. We're on the yellow marked tyres, but I don't know if the tyres differ um, to Formula One. Obviously, this season in Formula One, they've just gone to three tyres: the hard, medium, and soft compound. Whereas in 2018, they had like super softs, hyper softs, so, uh, things like that. But this next corner is a quite tricky one. So let's break nice and early. Obviously, these oh god, obviously these Formula Two cars are not as quick as the Formula One cars. So it's going to be different it's gonna take a while for me to adapt to these cars but I think it's just gonna be very fun down the line these cars do react kind of differently they are obviously a slower version and baby version of the Formula one car so maybe I can take more risks in these cars or maybe because they have less downforce overall maybe they they need to be just like worked with more and like taken care of who knows I wouldn't have thought this is going to be too good of lap. Good thing about these Formula 2 cars as well, there doesn't seem to be any errors or energy recovery system. So I don't need to worry about that. All I need to just keep an eye on is my tyres and my fuel. You're in the top 10 now. Okay, we're P6 right now. Considering I mucked up first corner and um, corner in the middle of sec sector. That's a better corner. Thing is, it, well, no, I'm, I'm up on my time because, as you can see, on my steering wheel, I'm in the green, so I'm up by nearly like two temps right now. I'm hoping this car doesn't get in my way. If if it does, then I'm just gonna go back to the garage, put on a new set of tyres, and go again. These cars like sound so much different to Formula One. I wonder down the line if they're going to um, bring out Formula E as a game. That'd be pretty good. Or they might put it on this game. Okay, that was a bad corner. He actually got out of my way on the corner. I don't like I don't like how my mirrors are showing it to be like quite black. Why can't I see the track behind me? Is that like a glitch or something? But we're up by six temps now because I got that corner a lot better. I don't think I nailed it yet. But I've definitely improved on this laptop. Oh I went in a bit too deep there. But yeah, I don't like that uh, my mirrors are not showing me what I should be looking at. It's, it's not that dark behind me to see that. Unless they are tinted mirrors. Maybe that's something I have to get used to. Who knows? Okay, right now we're actually a second up on our time. I wonder if we are actually going to be doing well. Obviously it says P7 on the moment, but I doubt everyone has set a lap time yet. There we go, right, we are second back, we're actually up to P1 right now, so what we're going to do is just return to garage, there's no point in driving around and doing an in-lap, because now obviously it brings down the time by about a minute and a half to two minutes. Our best lap so far is a one minute, 42.1. Okay, so as you can see, our time remaining has gone down ten minutes already, but let's have a look at the timing screen. So right now we are uh, on, in pole position by nearly five temps. You've got to remember this is on master difficulty as well. So that actually is extremely good. But I would expect other cars to do better. So it looks like the softs and mediums, um, which is obviously the striped tires that we did see last year. But obviously in Formula One this year, they're red for the, for the softs. Okay, so you only have one set of softs. That's interesting. That is actually very interesting. So maybe in a half hour's time, do I go for another one? And then we can accelerate time because I'm not too sure I can improve on that. I think I can improve on it slightly. So our main rivals, obviously we want to do well against the boys that also came up with uh, Lando to Formula 1. So we're looking out for George Russells um, and we're also looking out for Alex Albon who currently is down in 16th. Wow. Our time is going to be very tough to beat. The thing is though, I don't want to waste these tyres because I, I'm guessing like Formula 1, whatever like tyre you set your best lap on, it goes to as you start the race with. Do I just use them? There's only a few cars out on track. We should consider getting out there. How many cars are on track? Oh yeah, there's not many. Okay. Oh, I think that's my teammate, Sergio Sete Camara. In the sister uh, Carlin car. 
Cars are actually quite beautiful, actually. The one we're in is actually a very lovely shade of blue, as you can see there. That is very nice. You know what? Let's get out of there. There's no point in wasting time. We might as well set one more lap if we can. I think I think we can slightly improve. Even though they are they're more worn tires. Okay. I think we can do well. I think we can do well. Okay, let's try and get that corner nice and tight. DRS on. Okay, we're already two hundredths of a second down, but we'll see around this first corner if it's worth doing a new lap. Went out wide, I think I'm gonna be a good two temps down. Yeah, I'm two temps down right now. You know what? I, I think it's best to save the tyres and just abort. And we're just going to accelerate time to the end. So, as you can see, because it's just a qualifying session, it's best just to get through it nice and quick. I don't believe anyone is going to trouble my time. But who knows? Who, who knows? Because it seems like everyone's got one set of tyres that they are going to use. So, George Russell now is... Um, on the front row uh, two Brits on the front row which is nice Alex Albon has gone up to fifth which is very nice how's my teammate teammates in seventh right now hopefully he can improve oh teammates up to second okay only less than three temps behind me but we're gonna see how we get on in just a sec the is all set for the race tomorrow but before we go let's quickly remind ourselves of our top three which are Norris, Sete Camera, and George Russell. With qualifying complete, all that remains is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the feature race tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. Okay, so now uh, um, I just listened to that. As you can see on the uh, right hand side of your screen, we actually have picked up our first points of the season four points um, for. Uh, four points for the um, getting pole position which is nice so that is actually where this first episode is going to end I know it's obviously quite short but this is how the qualifying episodes are going to be there might be some cases where I do a bit more ta uh, like more laps maybe I'd go on to the hard compound first like to get used to a track and have a bit more track time and then set like some decent laps on the softs to set my best time but I'll leave that guys up to you but Next episode, we are going to have our first race, which is going to be the feature race. And then the episode after that, we're going to be doing the sprint races. So the next two episodes are still going to be in the, on the second circuit here in Bahrain. But yeah, guys, if you have enjoyed the pilot episode of Life of Lando, be sure to smash that like button. It shows me that you're going to be showing support for the series and support for my boy Lando Norris. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to like, subscribe as well. But until next time, guys, goodbye.